The biggest mistake amateur golfers make has nothing to do with the golf swing. The mistake is letting poor shots affect their attitude. As a six handicap, I know I'll hit plenty of bad shots. So the way I evaluate my round isn't just by tabulating my score, but by asking myself post round whether I stayed mentally checked in over every shot, from my first to my last. So this is a course that notoriously plays longer and tougher than the rating, and it starts right out the gate. 174 in, playing 183, uphill lie, seven in the morning, so I'm hitting a 190 club. My second swing of the day is a stinker. So I thinned it, and it's gonna be short in a bunker. But there's no sweating it. It's on to planning the next one. It's gonna be very important that I don't leave this short. I'm okay missing long here. Don't wanna turn this into a double. I'm out of position on this hole, and now it's about limiting big scores. <laughs> that hit the flag. And a stroke of luck from the golf gods gives me a look at par. Oh. But it's not meant to be this time, and we'll open with a bogey. The par 5 second is a hole I hope to score on. It starts by hitting a drive right down the middle, and adding a bit of self-effacing commentary too. Stare it down! <laughs> All 210 of carry! Okay, water at about 200, 210, so I'm hitting a 190 club. My strategy includes taking trouble out of play. So we'll play for short of the water and hope to leave a short iron in. Okay, so back pin and 131. My nine iron carries 125. It's still wet out here. If it weren't a back pin, I think I'd just back off an eight iron, but I'm gonna hit a full nine iron. And if it's a hair short in the morning, that's okay. I've made a plan here, but standing over this one, I'm a bit uncomfortable and it leads to a predictable result. Or you could shank it into the water. That's another option. Guess I'll be hitting another one. Okay, put it behind us, do it again. But notice that I'm not lamenting that shot. It's just onto the next one with an alert attitude of indifference. Don't you wish you'd hit that one the first time? And it's good. Okay, we've got that for bogey. There's not much in this putt. The scorecard doesn't care whether you're putting for birdie or bogey. Nope. I'll still evaluate the miss. Oh, it went that way. I had it a little bit the other way. And here on two, yeah. it's a double bogey. Okay, lots of time to turn around this bad start. I'm still in positive spirit standing over this shot. And this one's tracking down the flag. But unfortunately, that short? There's more work to do in search of today's first pot. And this effort out of the bunker Stay. still leaves me some work. Oh, <laughs> how bad was that pot? <laughs> oh, God. And the bogey train continues. Okay, so the target here is right of what it kind of looks like visually. There's a palm tree there. That's the line. And a shout out to Swing Tweaks for helping me hit drives like this more often. More on that later. Okay, so we have 103 playing 107, and I'm on a bit of an uphill lie. Still wet, mud ball. So my gap wedge is a 100-yard carry club. This pitching wedge is about 115, and I think I'm going to need a nice full pitching wedge to get it there. Another conservative plan here, and a good strike helps to ensure that I get this ball on the putting surface. Yeah, that should be tight. Okay, so we did go a little long with that wedge, but that was better than short in a bunker. Let's get a sense for what this one's doing. I need to get off this early bogey train. Okay, so it's gonna be coming to camera left. I also have to be conservative with this downhiller. I've chosen my line and tried to focus on getting this ball to the hole at die speed, and no drama. Hey, bogey train over. How beautiful is this? Thank you, Silver Rock, for hosting us today. One of my favorite courses in the Coachella Valley here. Thanks again to Randy at Silver Rock. And I can see now that I'm aligned up the right on this shot. And the result's predictable. Ooh, that's really bad. That's into the desert. So, I was forced to take a drop out of these rocks here. 103 playing 108. But again, it's on to the next. And this one will give me a look at par. One way we do not fret about bad scores is by being good to our playing partners. I'm inside Matt's ball. But Matt's having a career start, and I am not, so we're going to give him the read here. I often stress the importance of learning from your playing partner's putts, so I'll give Matt a look at this one, and I'll get out with a bogey. Okay, so water creeps in on this hole on the right more than it appears. It's 250 to the bunkers, and with how I'm hitting driver today, I don't think it's quite going that far, so aim at the bunkers. Last offseason, for the very first time, I put time into working on my driver swing. Gains. 10 yard medium high draw. And with the down season upon us in most of the country, now is the time for you to work on your swing. But realistically, in person golf lessons are expensive. And Swing Tweak's Black Friday deal is the best value for golf instruction you're likely to see. 
you can essentially purchase a full season of instruction for about the price of only one or two in-person lessons. Better still, you can do it on your own time. It's as simple as recording your golf swing and submitting it in the Swing Tweaks app. In return, you'll get 10 separate lessons, working on your swing hand-in-hand -hand with the PGA Pro throughout the off-season. If you're serious about improving, this is the best investment you can make in your game. How did that break to the right? Huh. Thought mountain here, water here. Back to the par 5 7th. I pushed it. And a poor putt. Ooh, that's frustrating. Had him. And another bogey. Okay, so 131. My rangefinder said playing 137, which is weird. But I just watched Zach, who is a better golfer than I, and a decent shot that came up short, so we're going to play the 140 club. Last hole's bogey is behind us. I paid attention to my playing partner and chose the right club for this shot. Yeah, got a good kick. Dead straight, five footer, right? The golf gods reward me, and I stroke this one in. That wasn't the most confident stroke, but the ball went in the hole. Okay, I'm gonna put something into this one. I haven't done that yet today. The bad swings are behind us. I'm amped up by my birdie, and this is my best swing of the day. 200 and into, and past that waste area, there's another bunker guarding it, so I'm aiming at the left corner of the green, and if it misses a bit short left, that's okay. But I won't get greedy here. It's a long approach, and this one's fine. Yeah, it's about 30 yards left, but... Okay, so this is a delicate one. There's probably about six paces here to work with of green. Exactly six paces. But despite best laid plans... Chunked it. We do this. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we'll try it again. Who's gonna move to my right? Camera left. Oh well. On to this putt for par. Ooh, is that bad? And it's short. So we'll close the nine with one more bogey. There's no way to sugarcoat it. This was a weak front nine for me. I was four over through only the first three holes, but I did stay with it. A fistful of bad shots and an inability to scramble led to a disappointing 42. But there were some positives. Six out of seven drives in the fairway is definitely something we'd like to take into the back nine. But unfortunately... Oh, Adam! Really? Okay, so 135, a bit into playing about 140, and hit a smooth eight iron. We're three balls down through only 10 holes today. But again, the game is about staying in the right mindset and limiting damage. All right, it's good to have that ball there because I need to go around it. It's a long look at par here, but with an uphiller, I can be a bit more aggressive with this one. Not quite. But it slips by, and the bogey train continues. Okay, we have 161 and playing a bit into, and I've learned last time, you can flare it a little right here, and there's a slope right of the green that'll feed it back down. So I'm aiming front right corner of the green. This is certainly an intimidating one, but we've made a 10 bail plan and this time, we're lucky to execute on it. And there's the kick, right towards the hole. Yeah, out would be great, thanks. Okay, so we just watched Zach. Moved a little left. And we stroke this one right on our intended line. Oh! But our luck runs out, and we'll take par. Oh, that was also a heel cut. Let's hope. So it's 270. There's a lot of hazard left, so I have to hit a 200 shot over the bunker here and really commit to that. This is another nervy one. Committing to this line wasn't easy, and I'm happy to pull this one off. 81 here. I'm just deciding between taking a sand wedge or even just bunting one with a gap wedge. I'm going to do that. Bad shot alert. But again, we'll stay in good spirits. Hold the finish. And try to evaluate the miss. So what did I do there? I really fatted it. It's a little thick, I guess. Okay, this has been a good test of patience today because we have not been playing good golf. But you know what? The score is still manageable. No reason to turn this into a 90. And it can be a low to mid 80s. It's just on to the next one. And this one is nipped much better than the last. And I'll have a look at par. And once again, hmm. we'll evaluate the miss. I hit that a little firm. And accept the bogey. It's easy to stay in good spirits with backdrops like this. It's the shortest par three on the course. And we're flag hunting. Woo! Oh wow, this is moving. Just a little more than a cup, I'd say. And we'd love to get the flat stick going with this one here. Oh! <laughs> Can't buy one today. But not quite. We'll take par. Thanks. I think I'm looking at the bunker and hoping it draws a bit. This par 5 requires good positioning off the tee. And this is a good one. Keep running, ball. Didn't go far, but it's in a perfect spot. 269 to the stick. Everything right is hazard, so I'm aiming the left corner of the trap by the green with a 200 club. And we've laid a conservative plan on this one. I chunked it a bit, but it's on the right line. 
Should be okay. Got it into wedge territory. Nice smooth sandwich here. And this is a frustrating one because I thought it was good. Oh, wow. That was short. Don't go into the bunker. And now we're looking to scramble. We haven't done that successfully a single time today. Right. But after a good chip here, we get this one to go. Target line is a cut off of the palm tree that's on the right edge of the trap. Oh, wow. But this one's definitely a miss and will leave us some work. 201, all carry, but it's a little downwind. So I think if I can hit this hybrid high, it should be fine. Oh God, Adam, that was so, so effing bad. So the name of the game today has been limiting damage. Let's try to do that once more. Soft hands. After briefly lamenting the last one, it's just on to the next. Oh, it moved a little right at the hole. Oh, it moved a lot right at the hole. That's a shame. That was kind of the shot I was trying to play. And this hole was cut in a dastardly spot. You know what? I'm happy with that just because yeah. there's no more work to do. And we'll card our first bogey since 12. To cover, it only looks like it's about 180. This is one of those make or break moments of the round. I should easily be able to cover the water. It's just a matter of putting a committed swing on it. And this time, yeah, we do it. And in terms of managing expectations, anything on the green is great here. And I'm very happy to lag this one up close. Yeah, I was worried about that one being real quick. We'll card a par and move on. Oh, God. <laughs> Boy, has my driver been a nightmare today. Okay, so it's 170 to carry the crap uphill wide, which actually might help launch this high. We're into wind, but just aiming at the middle of the bunkers. Those are 230 into wind, not getting there. Conservative plans. Mediocre execution, yeah. and this one works out just fine. Okay, so we have 117 playing 121 and into win, so I'm going to hit a 9 iron. Conservative plans, good execution, and this one's tracking down the stick. Oh, hit the stick. You see that? It bounced and bounced off the stick. Don't know if that helped it or hurt it. We'll take in one more great view at Silver Rock. These are going to be quite slick. And on to the birdie putt. That is indeed super slick. And this one skates by. Wow. But a confident stroke here and a par heading into 18. It's a drivable par four, and I'm hoping to get all of this one. But instead, hmm, I'll have some more. We are in waste area. So we have 130 here, playing 134, and it hit backed off eight iron. Pin is just between the two houses there. And as always, we're not thinking about the last shot when standing over the next one. Not quite sure how that did. It is so hard to see <laughs> what a crazy undulation there is back here. My ball goes downhill for four feet, uphill for 10. It's one more testing putt here. And this one has a chance, but we'll settle for par. Despite the driver failing us a bit on the back nine, we scrambled a couple of times and limited the damage to a three over 39. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the key to reeling in a score on a bad day is to never get flustered after a bad hole. Take a minute to let out an expletive before wiping the slate clean over the next one. I think this is the most important mental skill to harness in golf, and I hope you're able to apply this lesson the next time a round isn't going your way.